It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the focus is on the Thunderbirds' leader at quarterback. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Thunderbirds and the Golden Eagles next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us south of the border to the vibrant capital of Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Thunderbirds of Albuquerque and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Mexico City team as they enter play here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors from Albuquerque, an early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week than ever they're nearing the end zone. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Still very early in the season, obviously, CD, but already key injuries that they've had to deal with. And what's really difficult for a team is to try and maintain their focus when they feel like they've been a little bit snake bitten. It feels like every time they turn around, another injury pops up. How do they manage to hang together? get guys to play a little bit above their heads and make sure that they're still afloat when their starters make it back. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that'll be complete to Dillon. And even with that broken tackle, can't get very far. Stops short of the 30. A gain of a yard brings up second and 14 at the 28 yard line. Second and 14. Right side catch. This is Gates. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. Here's Ward. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. So here in the heart of Mexico, this is a city that's hosted a handful of NFL games before, but now this is a different deal. A relocated franchise moving south of the border, playing here on a permanent basis. It's going to be exciting times here in the Mexican capital, that's for sure. And really all across this country, they're pumped for this because this will be Mexico's team. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll get this into the hands of Dillon complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Second and six at the 37-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Complete here. It's high. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have a run, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. They'll work with four receivers here on third and six. Back to throw. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. And his kick is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, end up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him to win. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 23 carries, 138 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. Third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Harris running straight ahead. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. I mean, look at this defense. And they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. You have to like the way that they played in the first month. They have to be very proud being a top 10 unit against the pass. Their goal, though, in this one, see if they can improve that ranking. And they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw. James over the middle complete. It's Barker. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. At the 46-yard line. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Off the bootleg, James. Able to find the open man. That's 
complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. On the give, this is Harris. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. To throw is James. To throw on second down. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. They need two. Here's third down. Play action. James. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Thunderbirds are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. This taken in right around the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. In trouble, and he's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now a first down carry for Harris. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Now that run good for seven yards, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ball on the 39. Here's second and three. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. Again, it's Harris on second down. As they've got it as we resume action. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get it as they stop it behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Looking to throw. James caught here by Bell. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 32 now, here's first and 10.
run with Harris out of the shotgun. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Off the play fake. James. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Okay, partner. No surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Caught by Gates. Left side. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to bring up second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight. 36-yard line. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. They're going to look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And down inside the 15 he goes. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He'll look to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Seven yards left for second down, ball at the 10. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. And they'll accept that penalty. Still second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Golden Eagles are once again back in front. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. A drive that time of six plays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And the Albuquerque offense ready to take over once again. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Ball start. Awesome. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw. James. He finds his man complete. It's Barker. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Back to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and 10 at the 46-yard line. Looking to throw. James. His throw incomplete. But it certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. James to throw on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Parker. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Operating from the gun. James. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Operating from the gun, James. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. Over the middle, it's complete. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Second and a couple. Now Ward. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Up the middle they go. Gates, five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down to number four, getting this inside the 30. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. All tied up at 10. Two minutes left in the first half. They go play action here on first down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. And his kick here is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. An Albuquerque offense out to take over now. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got... He's got a man complete! And what a big-time play there! And even 40 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators are often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw. James, short throw, that's caught by Davis. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That swung out wide to Harris. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Completes it to Davis. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. He finds his man complete. That's Rose. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so he can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. He knows something. He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stick. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Here's a look for the end zone, but that 
one's going to wind up incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick is right there. It's good. So three points on the board as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Powering his way forward and able to get this out to the 25. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now they run out of the shotgun with Adams. They juked him. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And on now is the punter, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A 40-yard punt, giving three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Ball on the 40 now, here's second and two. Back to throw here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. On the ground with Ward. Still going inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Only took him three plays, and they're already in the red zone, just like that. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about 
the whole offensive line being involved. Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want the left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. You got a chance to run with it. From the four, this is second down and one. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And now we've got a third and four. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well. And they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. That's his third field goal now with a ball game, and they needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys. Need you to make this stand up because we got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the Albuquerque offense out to take over now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's James throwing to start the drive. He finds his man complete. That's Rose. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 31 yard line. Looking to throw. James. And that's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys that call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Now James from the gun on third down. That is caught, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. From the 48-yard line, here's second and five. They hand this off to Harris. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Back to throw. James. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Back to throw now on second and ten. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Out of the gun now on third down. 
Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Townsend. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. He'll drop to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 84 yards now on the ground by just seven carries. They'll run on first down. Gates. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. And they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Complete here. It's high. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got a man. It's his fullback. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. And yeah, he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. They work now on second and nine. Brings up second and nine. He'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And his kick is indeed good, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So his second field goal now here in this third quarter. The first one got him the lead, and this one adds to it, but by no means is this one locked down. This is very much anyone's game. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Albuquerque offense out to take over now. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. It's brought in by Harris. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Mexico City. Second and seven. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. James now looking to throw on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rose. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. 
Now here's a throw. It's complete. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. To throw is James. To throw on second down. Caught here by Bell. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Operating from the gun, James. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. James on first and ten. He finds his man complete. It's Barker. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And they'll come up second and seven. Now a handoff up the middle. Rose. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and a PAT for the lead. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack, and that makes things tougher here on third and goal. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. And it's caught. Touchdown. From eight yards out. And the Thunderbirds are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. A very important extra point there, up and good, and they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shreds the tackle. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? 
Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll set up to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. They bring their punter out there now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Looking to throw. James. Pressure comes and down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now third down and very long. Up the middle they go. It's Rose. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. When they get off the field on third down, an excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime, but the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Now a hit and a loose football. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. All right, zero rooting interest in it, but that would hurt. Well, yeah, you're losing in the fourth quarter. A bad time for a fumble on a punt return. They had an opportunity. All right, they were sensing. They're down on the scoreboard, and now they just gave that one up. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Operating from the gun, James. He gets it complete to Harris. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Back to throw. James finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Looking to throw. James. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. And this one is right through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. The situation for them offensively as follows. Down by four, a minute 53 remaining. 
They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's a second and seven. second and seven at the 28-yard line. Back to throw. Gates with a grab. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll come up now on second down. He'll look to throw. Pass complete to Ward. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Complete Dillon. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that will force a turnover on downs. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Albuquerque, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Mexico City, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.